this is kind of the foundation for almost like all love stories. The two people who can't be together but want to be together. I think what makes forbidden love exciting uh, is that it's like something that we can't have. Uh, so we always desire after something that we can't have. Oh, forbidden love is awful, but people love to watch it, <laughs> like to watch it unfold. It's like you and your partner just going against the world. Like there are so many things telling you that it's not possible. It's not meant to be read. It was what, written with the intention of being performed and, and being acted. The big difference is um, when you read it, it's like reading poetry. But when you see it, it's like hearing music. Um, and I think both are valuable. I think reading Shakespeare is brilliantly important, but um, there's something really fun about getting to see an orchestration of a, a Shakespearean piece. Romeo and Juliet is something that you read in high school with your teachers and stuff, uh, and then yeah, in your English class. And so it's really exciting is putting it on stage. High school students will be very, will, will be more, more eager to see it because they very well could have like read it for class. Um, so seeing it here, I think can like transcend like a boring text reading and taking quiz process in high school and like actually see the show on its feet from start to finish um, and really understand what it's all about and see how these characters actually interact with each other. And even just being able to apply faces to the characters, I think that helps so much. I think the normal audience is pretty forgiving, but with a group of high school students, they're, they have no problems telling you that you're bad by how they react. And so when you're doing a performance for them, it's a little more nerve wracking because you know that whatever their response is, is going to be very, um, clear and honest and they're not, they don't care about how we feel about things. <laughs> they're just in it for entertainment. So it'll be, it'll be curious to see how they respond and if they understand and if it's exciting and fun for them or just boring. My goal is to have them go on the journey throughout the entire process and throughout the entire performance and not get lost along the way. If someone can be with it from the beginning and be enwrapped in the story that they've heard a hundred times and come out the other side, to me that's the most exciting prospect of the show. I think the set is incredibly beautiful for Romeo and Juliet and I'm excited for everyone to see that, but also how we get to use the space. Um, there's some really cool sword fighting and um, Romeo climbs up on the trellis which is pretty sweet. <laughs> the balcony alone, I think, I think there's going to be a beautiful lighting wash over the balcony and, and fun scene transitions into sword fights or into the, a big ballroom number. Um, I just think it's going to be such a, a, a spectacle. Romeo and Juliet opens April 12th at 7.30 at Shanklin Theatre. Be there. This production has been brought to you by Aces TV.